Year 8. Um, I do hope you're all well. Um, so project two, we're going to be looking at rendering techniques. Um, so here we have just a little bit of a reminder about the formal elements. So when we're referring to artwork, whenever we're writing about artwork, we write about um, artwork in terms of line, shape, colour, texture, pattern, form and tone. And um, the tasks that you were about to undergo on this particular um, piece of work look at rendering skills. So if we just have a look where the light bulb is at the bottom of this page, it said rendering means how we can make objects seem like they are made out of a, out of a particular type of material. So the materials that you're going to need are A4 paper um, and perhaps a biro or a pen or a pencil. And they're going to be 50 marks that are available for this particular piece of work. Here we go. So what you're looking at, first of all, on this um, slide is a whole range of different textures that have been achieved. This is actually a really good type of thing to do. Um, if you can see quite closely, for example, here, you might see um, that you recognise that this one is, is wood. And it, just the nature of the line that's been used gives you that kind of feeling. We've here got shattered glass, some brickwork here. I absolutely love this one here, which is like a curl, a hair curl that's been done. So just in the way that people have used the particular lines and the pressure of the pen or the pencil, um, can create the illusion that these studies are actually made out of the materials that they are. Okay, um, have a quick look on this slide as well to see how many uh, textures you do actually recognise yourself. Now we're going to move on to the second slide. This is all about applying the textures. So if you want to move back to the previous slide or use the little help motif at the bottom of here, then of course you can do. You can see there's five boxes here for glass, wood, water, brick and metal. Oh, I'm sorry, I've moved on one. And then you've got the actual real uh, physical pieces on the right hand side of the screen. So exercise number one is basically to create five boxes. You can do this on your own A4 piece of paper. The boxes do not need to be large at all. I would say four, four centimetres by four centimetres, something like that. And then using uh, whatever materials you have available, um, try and um, repeat what you see in the box. So for the metal one that you can see at the top of here, try and shade this so that it appears to be made out of metal in the metal box. Um, a little note at the bottom here, remember to press on with your pen or your pencil. You need to be bold when you're doing these. So the bold, more bold you are, the more 3D your studies will actually look. There's 25 points available for this particular task. Now here is a, um, a final piece that we're looking for from you. Um, it says here are some images of buildings. Look how they've been rendered, so shaded. Produce your own rendered building using any of the textures that you like. You can use the images on this slide or find a building of your own. Try to use your rendering skills to help you. So we've got all of these buildings that you can see that we've sourced here. I have put a little thing at the bottom that says, what about doing a skyline? These can look really fantastic. So you could, if you wanted to, print out a few buildings, put them on a line, just do the outline of them, but then decorate them from all inside. I think you'd agree that this one looks very, very effective. Or you could choose a building like this one here. And then if I scroll back, to the texture sheet, there's no reason to say that you can't use any of these textures that are on here on the actual surface of the building outline that you've used. Okay, 25 points are available for this particular finished piece of work. Um, now, when you've completed your work, if you could take a photograph of the two activities that are there, and if you could upload them to Teams, then that would be great. If you're struggling doing that and uploading them to Teams, then you can always take photographs and you can send them via email. Um, we hope you enjoy the task and take care. Bye.